Because when we read the UPPC Act, nothing of the sort is mentioned therein. That when the board is absent, minister assumes the role of the board. The Committee on Commission Statutory Authority and State Enterprises is inquiring into the alleged irregularities at Uganda Printers and Publishing Corporation. It's alleged that Minister for Presidency Mele Babalanda was involved in forceful dissolution of the former board, irregular recruitment of the new board, and influencing of procurements at a UPPC. A situation where one has powers to appoint and the person you appoint is not available. By implication, you have to take charge. Needs to commit to this committee that is the one that advised the minister that the law gives her a leeway. The framers of the law would have made it explicitly clear. The only powers given to the minister is to appoint the board. That minister Mile Babaland and some officials from Uganda Printers and Publishing Corporation appeared before Kosase to respond to the queries. Minister Babalanda explained to the committee that she only signed on the documents following a crisis after the interdiction of the old board. I had to stand in to undertake the responsibility of the board on the following ground. The UPPC is a corporate entity that cannot suspend its business due to lack of a board. Absence of a UPPC board is associated with the ongoing criminal investigations in the corporation, which commenced on August 16 of 2021. At my request, and which resulted in my interdicting of the board members, and later some of the staff at the request of the police, when they interfered with police investigations. She clarified that the appointment of Kenneth Oluka as the acting managing director was never under her influence. As now she appointed herself as the board chairman, in fact, as the entire board, you know, so she was signing documents as board chairman. Under what law? There's no law that empowers her to do that, okay? Then she hires a managing director. The law said the board is not supposed to hire a managing director. So she has been operating illegally, which is very problematic. It's about the acting managing director that is acting in the capacity of a substantive manager. On the mismanagement of over five billion meant for procurement of colored printers, Minister Babalanda told the committee that she stopped the purchase of the second printer after citing corruption. Very problematic. Yes, she has apologized, but see an apology. If it has caused financial loss and all of that, it does not suffice. We can't just keep apologizing and it's okay. No, it is not okay. And there are other issues, you know, uh, money, billions of shillings to buy machines, 2 billion, 5.6 billion, which she says she wasn't even aware of, and yet they awarded the contract. On the contrary, the committee established that ABS company that was contracted to conduct the recruitment process in 2021 acted partisan. Officials will return to the committee tomorrow to continue on the queries as raised in the Auditor General's report of 2021-2022. Susan Naung and Gloria Guitabinji reporting for ABC TV.